and you immediately under threat of arrest. People have a right to privacy. They're, they're not in public. Yes, they, they got it. The onus this is, is on them. Public. I don't got nothing else to tell you, man. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah. I'm not, I'm walking here in the public area. Then. Okay. Relax. You're just in the public area. I am. Articulable uh, suspicion of a crime. No. So this this is what we're trying to explain to you. I know how vehicle. it works, okay? This is not... You obviously don't, because you're not giving us okay. your ID. Honestly, she's not even supposed to detain you as a passenger. So make sure make sure when it's over, you get her name and badge number, and you file a formal complaint. Am I being detained? Yeah. I'm For what? Questions. For what law? Why are you driving around those buildings like For that? what law am I being detained? I need your supervisor. Guys, call 911 if he gets erratic. In a tense confrontation at a government agency, a citizen strongly stood up to defend his right to film in the face of harsh opposition from the police. Despite being asked to stop and threatened with arrest, he remained steadfast in asserting his freedom of speech and acting based on the constitution and legal regulations. Where will this standoff lead when a citizen dares to challenge and defend his legitimate rights against pressure from the authorities? Let's follow the gripping developments of this situation to witness the power of civic rights in dealing with challenges posed by law enforcement. Perhaps filming in public has never been easy for auditors. Where you positioned yourself behind that desk? That's not a law. I didn't position myself in any other way. You can do it's it a public way, area. In the waiting area. And I was trying to get her attention so I can so file public you, records. You can get online. Do you remember the case of Smith Biz? Cummings, where the court emphasized that the right to film in public spaces is part of freedom of speech. This ruling established an important precedent for citizens' rights to monitor the actions of law enforcement, affirming that filming cannot be considered obstruction without just cause. You can't be filming them testing. Oh, for real? You can't film oh. them testing, sir. I work here. All right, good. Get back to work. Here. Yeah, I have a right to record right here. To You're telling me I can't do something I have a right to do. Yeah, no, this is a public on. building and you know I have a First Amendment right to record our public officials while they're working in the course of their duties. Smith versus Cummings, there's case law on that. Okay. Oh, because, oh, so now you're a feelings enforcer? Just because they don't want me here? Is it a lawful order? Yes, sir. So if I don't leave, what's going to happen? Oh. What's up, America? Back to the Surreal Cam channel. I'm out here in beautiful downtown Fort Myers, which is Lee County, Florida. And we're gonna respectfully exercise my First Amendment right to record in public. Our public employees respect my rights to record and promote transparency here. Let's see what happens on this revisit, because this is another revisit. And I just love to keep them in check. This is what it's about. For real? You can't film oh. them testing, sir. Who says that? You you saying that to me? Yes. It's not uncommon for auditors to film at public buildings, but this time it was a battle far from simple. They faced law enforcement officers who unreasonably infringed on their civic rights. I have the right to film here. This is public space. Their voices rang out as a powerful and determined call. Why are you asking me for ID? I haven't done anything wrong. These statements not only reflect harassment, but also demonstrate a strong resistance against attempts to prevent auditors from filming. The police not only showed a lack of respect for citizens' first First Amendment rights, but also blindly demanded ID, severely violating the privacy protected by the Fourth Amendment. You're telling me I can't do something I have a right to do. You do not, I, I, yes, I do have a right to do no, that. Yeah, no, this is a public about... building, and you know I have a First Amendment right to record our public officials while they're working in the course of their duties. Smith versus Cummings, there's case law on that. You, you're misunderstanding. Yeah, no, no, I'm not misunderstanding. I do this for a living, and you should know. No, 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 I'm not going outside. I'm going to finish working on my story. You cannot. Yes, I can. You cannot. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, let's go outside of home and supervisor. Call your supervisor, man. I got nothing else. This is a public building. There's no expectation of privacy in public. Sir, it's not. Sir, you have to stop. Call your supervisor. Because you're making a wrong mistake here. You have to stop. Uh, how? From a public building? Yes, sir. You can't do that unless I commit a crime. There is an expectation of privacy. In here. Listen. Such as the social security card, driver's license, and other. Listen. Okay. This is a public building. You're, you're not, you're not understanding me. 
I don't want to speak to you no more. I want to disengage. I'm not leaving. I'm not a supervisor. Come, but you're going to have to leave. All right, that's fine. I'm not leaving. So, this is a public building, number one. I keep repeating this to you. I know, you're, you're, you're making a mistake. bad mistake. You're making a bad move. This is a public. This is by the tax dollars of our tax dollars. I understand. I have a right to record in here. There's an expectation of privacy in here. Yes. Not in public. Because you are misinformed. Before, people have social security you want to infringe on my rights today? Do you want to violate my rights today? Is that what you're trying to do? So if you're violating other people. How are you speaking like this? I can't believe you're an officer. Listen, I'm gonna record in here. You wanna make a bad move? We can do it. I'm not going outside. If you gave me a lawful order and you got a law to back it up, I'll go outside. We can have the finished conversation outside. I'm no, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go outside because you're so telling they, me to go outside. Don't want you here. Just no, because no, no, no. they feel like I gotta go outside. What about the law and the, and the oath you sworn oath to? Sure. I don't care what they want. I don't care what they want. You know, I've been here before. Yeah. I'm not gonna listen to you no more. I don't know how you became a police officer. You're speaking like this. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. Is it a lawful order? What's that? Is it a lawful order? Yes, sir. You're gonna get arrested for You So under threat of arrest, I'll leave under threat of arrest. You want to go that route? Okay. I want your supervisor though. This is why I record the government. You guys, you, you got no respect towards the First Amendment. You don't even seem to care. I care. Come on. No, you don't. Because you just threaten. You just threaten my freedom. What's going on? Okay, I'll, I, I'm, how am I going to be trapped? Listen, you can't trespass me from a public building and turn this into a crime. It's protected by the First Amendment. Do you not understand what I'm trying to tell you? No, you don't understand. So if I don't leave right now, what's going to happen? You're going to be arrested for trespass. Okay, come on, let's go outside. Not all police officers are the same. Some genuinely show respect and understanding of the law. When the auditors encounter a different officer, the attitude can be completely different. This officer appears knowledgeable and respects citizens' rights, illustrating that understanding rights and laws is crucial. It serves as a shield that helps us stand firm against unreasonable questions and demands from law enforcement. When we know our rights, we not only protect ourselves, but also contribute to raising legal awareness in the community. That's the only, and you don't have a law to back that up. You have no law to back that up that I just left on the threat of arrest. You don't give a damn about your job and the, and the oath that you sworn oath to? You don't give a fuck about that, huh? There's no privacy out in public. I can record in there. Wait till your supervisor come and let's see if he's educated enough to educate you on what you're doing here is a big mistake. I already came outside. I'm not in the DMV. Okay, so I'm not listening to your directors no more. I came outside, like you told me to, right? Under threat of arrest, right? You are wrong. You're making a huge mistake. And out in government buildings and anywhere in public, there's no expectation of privacy, documents or not. You're very, very uneducated you are, man. This is why I record you fools. And you seem to smile about it. You think it's a game. It's not a game, man. You're violating my rights today. What's your name? I'm not giving you nothing. You didn't deserve to get my first name. You're a tyrant. You're violating my rights. Anywhere that is public. Get that through your head. You're a complete tyrant. That's what you are. You have no idea what the First Amendment of the Constitution is. Thank you for uh, having this discussion. On yeah, you just violated my rights on the threat of arrest. That's what you did. This is a, called the Department of Motor Vehicles. Are you not all there in the head and you don't understand that I have a right to record? No, I don't need to educate you. You're the type that you can't educate, dude. You're one of those. Just because I know my rights doesn't mean I'm very smart like you say. Well, yeah, I'm smarter than you. I'm, I'm smarter than you on that. I'm smarter than you and I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the supervisor. I'm waiting for your supervisor because I, I came in here to file public records request because she didn't give me a chance to. I just walked in. I just walked in. I have a right to record my interactions with the government. Yes, I do. Where the hell do you get your knowledge from? Are you not all there in the head, dude? Where do you get your knowledge from, bro? Embarrassing. You're violating my rights over recording, dude. You're absolutely wrong, and I'm filing a complaint on you, dude. You're wrong. 
Yes, what makes you say that? You tell me that. I can show you, you, you know, show me what? That I want to see. Show me the law book. Show me where I cannot record in this DMV. I'm going outside to see the law book. Show me the law book. Come on, go ahead. No, I don't want, I don't want you walking behind, behind me. I don't trust you. I'm not, I don't trust you. No, I'm not walking behind you. I'm not walking behind you. You're violating my rights, bro. I came to conduct business in here and record it and record it. How do you know that? Uh, bothering no you don't even know what the hell you're talking about i just walked in and you're telling me to leave you i just walked in and you walked you positioned yourself behind the desk and so what they got it the onus is on them to hide the, the to create privacy yes it is yeah no it's not the onus is on them to create privacy in public you got no idea what you're talking about i'm not walking behind you bro you're not walking behind me this guy's a clown you're a clown bro you're a clown how you doing? This gentleman came in recording. He positioned himself behind. I'm explaining to him that he cannot record in there. Are you the supervisor? I'm not, no. You assume, well, I need a supervisor, man. I have a right to record in there. Okay, I came to conduct business, and you immediately, under threat of arrest, they got it. The onus is on them. I don't got nothing else to tell you, man. You're you're wrong, man. Relax. I am. I am. I am. I'm already left under threat of arrest. I'm not going back in there. I'm filing a complaint on you. Okay. Of course, I, I came to conduct business here. I came to file public records requests. Yes, I did. How do you know that? I, of course I could record. Where did you get your knowledge from, man? This is a riot. This is a government building. See, you're the type I can't, I can't speak to you, man. I can't speak to you, man. I'm not leaving, dude. I'm working on a story here on the government building here. All right, I don't need to tell you that. Maybe if you would be more cooperative with me, I would, we would have had a cordial conversation. And you threaten my freedom, man. Understood. I'm not leaving, dude. I'm waiting for your supervisor. All right? I'm not. Or be arrested So I gotta leave here too? Nah. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not going back in. Do you see me trying to go back in there? I'm waiting for your supervisor, man. I get it. I get it. I'm waiting for your supervisor. I got no choice. My freedom is on risk. You just threatened my freedom sure with no law to back it up. Understood. All right. I'll wait for your supervisor. <laughs> this is the bathroom and this is the first floor. And this guy has no idea what he's talking about. I've been here before. <laughs> So he can put his camera wherever he's got to put his camera. Technically, it's a public area where I was at. I just walked in. As long as he maintains, like, maintains that he's in a public area, it is the people that's inside of there to protect their own documents. Exactly. So to, to windows. My name's Officer Warner for my. You need to take notes from this guy, dude, because you're making a huge mistake, man. Sure. It's, listen, 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 there's no, there's no reason for that. Listen really carefully. I have a right I'm to be in there. You. you do have a right. I'm not saying you have to be in there, but I was explaining to you, which I was just confirming with these guys. Okay. The way you positioned yourself behind that desk. It's not a law. I didn't position myself in any other way. You yes, I, it's that. a public you area, sir. You could do it's a public you area. Could do it in the waiting area. And I was trying to get a, her attention so I can you, file so public you, records. You this is what I didn't know about. And I went to take video in public area too. I don't need to take get in line to take video. No, I don't. Okay, so what law is that? That I can't position myself a certain way? How did I position myself? The onus is on them to create the privacy, sir. I am in the general area. But you cannot go behind that desk. Yo, listen to this guy, man. Okay, so can I go file public records requests? Okay, so what if I want, I don't want to file public records. I want to take my video here in public area. I can do that. You can do that, okay then. No, you can hang out here. Okay, can I go take my video inside? Like I came here. The as long as you're in the waiting area. Listen. listen. He's telling you not to record the computer. Okay, look. Anything that I can see in public, I can record it. You can't trespass the eyes, dude. Okay. If they got stay private in the public, information, the they gotta area. create the privacy. It's not on me. Stay in the public area. Appreciate that, man. It's crazy, bro. These people, man. All right, so anyways, this is where I was standing at. <sighs> which he wasn't even a freaking, which he wasn't even a sergeant. So this is all I wanted to do over here. Donor, superstar, take a walk around over here and that's it.
But well, that guy's the biggest tyrant, dude. You see why I like to do revisits? Even though I've been here before. You have no right to ask me for information without evidence of a law violation. There is no reason for a citizen to be asked to leave their vehicle and provide information. That's all I'm trying to confirm is that's who you are, so we can get out of here. So you said in an investigation I have to legally provide my name. And if I consult my attorney, they'd, they'd say the same. Correct. And that's not true. Do you suspect me of committing a crime? You're sitting in your car, parked legally, enjoying a little downtime. There is no reason for the police to intervene or harass you. In this situation, Officer Hill clearly violated the Fourth Amendment, as well as Texas law, BRV Texas, by unlawfully demanding personal information without any just cause. All right, so firm. Hold on, hold on I'm got good. a call for a suspicious car that's been here okay. for some time. I'm here to check it out, make sure everything's good. Hey, before we start, can I get a name and batch number? Sure, Officer Hill. And what department are you from? Pennsville. And where's that located? Here. No, no, the address. So you said you got a call about a suspicious car. And what yeah. else? Suspicious vehicle. Uh-huh, okay. That's been parked here for quite some time. So I'm just here to check it out. Um, Like I told the individual who approached me. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. not doing anything wrong, and I'd just like to be left alone. Okay. Because, you know, we're American citizens, and we don't have to explain ourselves to to people what we're doing if we're not doing breaking the law, right? Right. That's all I told the individual, and quite frankly, man, I'd just like to be left alone to be a free citizen. Yeah. All right, I just got to get... Is this your car? I'm not going to ask any questions. I'm going to okay. invoke my Fourth Amendment right. All right. Okay. Can I get your name, sir? You don't have to ask any questions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's just I'm conducting an investigation. No, I know, but still. I got to get information on who I'm talking to. Brung v, I do. Brung v. Texas states that just because you got a call, probable cause or reasonable articulable okay. suspicion of a crime, you don't have the right to identify anyone. So, you know, that's case law. All right. Well, what I'll say is, yeah, you're parked legally. Just sure. whatever you please, okay? So then, okay. So, like you said, I'm fine. Yeah. But why would you state that you have to, that's against the law, I to identify someone? I tell the same thing when I'm conducting an investigation. Is that common like practice? It. I don't underestimate the capabilities of the police, but in this case, as an outsider, I cannot accept such baseless and unsubstantiated actions. If you don't cooperate, I'll have to consider the next steps. These words truly make me wonder. I don't know what the police's next move will be, but I completely agree with this citizen's decision to remain silent and not provide any personal information to the police. This right is protected by the Fifth Amendment of the Constitution, and we have an obligation to safeguard our own rights. Hello, sir. I'm not going to ask any questions. Can you, before we start, can I get your name and badge number? Davenport 519. Okay, sir. Okay, so here's where we're at. Uh -huh. In New Jersey, or yes. any state, you have to provide your name and information during an investigation or even a motor vehicle stop, okay? Okay. That's all I'm trying to confirm is that's who you are, so we can get out of here. In an investigation, I have to legally provide my name. Yes. And if I consult my attorney, they'd, they'd say the same. Correct. Let's start with that. RAS. We need RAS, right? Okay. RAS reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime. Do you suspect me of committing a crime? Did someone call and specifically say that I committed a crime? I'm just asking specifically you. Specifically, what crime would that be? You tell me. Well, we you were, were here. Someone we called, called you for me. Is that a that's crime? We're just trying to find out what's going on because we had a house in this area. It has nothing to do with me. Is that a crime? Well, I can't associate that. All I'm trying to do is get you. But do I have a Fourth Amendment right? Can you answer that? What would that be to? You tell me. You're the officer. You know what a fourth and fourth I'm amendment is. I'm saying this right? doesn't violate that fourth amendment. It does. Right. No, if you force me to identify, it does. Well, because you're driving a motor vehicle. I'm not driving a motor vehicle. My vehicle is parked. So you're still occupying a motor vehicle. I can occupy a motor can parked operate, vehicle. But it still is the same. It's not the you same. Have the, you have the right to operate it. Uh, okay. On a public street. But can I commit a moving violation while parking? No, but you can't commit so, a parking violation. So, I don't know yet because I don't know if you're the registered owner of his I'm vehicle. going to invoke my Fifth so Amendment right. I don't right. know if you have a driver's license. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent without a lawyer present to and answer any questions. While remaining silent? Sure. 
I just need you to provide me your proper driving documentation. I'm not going to provide any documents since I didn't break you any definitely laws. definitely have to provide a driver's license. I'm not going to provide any documents since I didn't break any laws. insurance for the vehicle. I'm going to remain silent. Okay. We're kind of we're impasse here. I get your frustration. I get it. I'm at the same level. Listen, honestly. the next step is litigation if you violate my rights. And on the... In front of a jury, okay? I'm not going to ask any questions moving forward, okay? I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent so without the presence straight. of an attorney. You're not going to provide an, or Do you suspect me of committing a crime or a, or a moving violation? I can't determine that. So then the answer is no. If your driver license is or a moving violation. That, so I can provide the documentation. Do you suspect me of committing a crime or a moving violation? Yes or no? So you don't know? No, so because I can't provide your Do your investigation. Mm -hmm. Talk to whoever you have to talk to. And the review final your, step here is what to make did sure they you have say? A valid license. No, you don't get to go in the place determining who. You did got, you, you see me? Points, did right? you see me arrive here? Huh? Did you see me drive here? Your neighbors did. But did you? All right, listen. You got here somehow, right? Supervisor, please. I am. It's right here. You're a supervisor, here. please. Yes. You're a supervisor. No. <laughs> fifth. Fifth Amendment. Okay. Invoke my fifth. And I invoke my First Amendment right also. And can I get a card number? Um, Hill. Yes. Can I get a card number, please? A CAD number? Yes. Incident number, however yes, you, you or whatever you guys call it. You'll be able to. Can I get it now? You can get it now. Yes, please. Thank you. I appreciate can it. Can I get your ID? No, sir. What is your RES? My R my reasonable your, your RAS. Uh, articulable ar suspicion? Of a crime. We get called here for I a suspicious vehicle. I know how vehicle. it works. Okay, this is not... You obviously don't because you're not I giving us okay. your ID. Um, can I get the CAD number? Yeah. Thank you. I'm not going to speak to you either, I'm going to invoke my Fifth Amendment right. County, can I get a case number? Remember I told you, are you familiar with the Bill of Rights? Former to the third and fourth hour. Confirm. Are you familiar with the Bill of Rights? Yep. And you, okay, good. Yep. You know there's established law, someone's right to be secure in their effects. Okay, on a Fifth Amendment right to remain silent? Yep. Okay. You're aware of that. You're remember I told you Brown v. Texas, okay? So remember that case law. Okay. Just in case there's litigation. I've directed you exactly to the case law that governs this. Brown v. Texas. Is your body camera on? It's on. Perfect. The final reason the police gave was to request the citizen's license plate and vehicle documentation. The truly ironic thing is that before arriving here, they had no clear reason for their actions. This seems to be a last ditch effort to salvage their ignorance and unprofessionalism. They have abused their power without any reasonable basis and are now just looking for ways to justify their actions. This behavior not only exposes their incompetence, but also creates a sense of insecurity for citizens who are simply exercising their rights. Am I free to go? Nope, still detained. Still detained, okay. Alright. Alright, there. I'm not going to resist, man. No, you're you're going to put you're me good. under arrest. Look, here's my hands. I'm not going to resist. I just want to make sure that we're on the same page because I think we are. Awesome. They're going to pull me out of the car and I just don't want to be. What are we going to do? Nah. Are we, are we okay? Said, yeah. So, here's, here's what we're going to do. Sure. Okay? Because I really don't want this massive headache of whatever's going on. Okay. So. Obviously, this car is registered in New Jersey, right? So we can pull the registration, see who the RO is, and see if the RO matches your picture in the DMV system. Public license plate. So, yeah, you guys right, have the right exactly. to do that. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, to me, that's the easiest way to resolve the whole matter. All of us going about our way, right? Perfect. Okay. I'm okay with that. That worked for you? Yep. I don't, I don't feel like having to go over this just for a simple little... The whole reason why we're pushing it that far is because we literally just had an incident at the school that's... 100 yards away okay so we're just that's why we're in the area now anyway so it's nice to understand you know. that but anybody who's parking the street doesn't mean they're associated with that incident I no i, I get it but yeah. at the same time mm -hmm. we gotta conf like if you gotta get out of here some you got here somehow you gotta get out of here somehow mm -hmm. all i have to do is make sure you got a valid license and you're on your way so not, not gonna happen man I'm not gonna have, I'm not giving you a license for you to make sure I have a valid license. That is, that's not, that, that is not a coordinates with the okay. law. Okay, I got your point, but here's the thing. Sure. If you drive away from here yes. and something happens, yes. 
we're gonna have to get your license at that point. Get what I'm saying? Well, you have to have a legal reason to pull me over, like I told him. I know. I'm not saying we're gonna sit here and try to pull you. Over. No, I'm just saying, that. God forbid, something else happens in, from I now. Know I have a license that is valid and it's legal for me to operate in this on this okay. roadway. Okay. All right. Front, back, side to side to make sure I'm covered. Right. Okay. Well, it makes it easier. Like you guys for you. have your cameras. Well, yeah, too. we gotta have, have everything on camera. Mine too. Yep. So I'm not worried about that part. All right. You have a good one. I never We're gonna get out of Good. All right. Thank you very much, man. Yep. If in this case, instead of a confident man, there were a weak woman or someone unfamiliar with the law, things could become much more complicated. They might find themselves in an awkward situation, unsure of how to respond to unreasonable demands and pressure from the police. Once again, I want to emphasize the importance of learning and mastering knowledge about the law. This is also a lesson for inexperienced police officers, and this time, it's a female officer. I don't got nothing going on. I told you what I'm doing. I'm just watching. Right. Concerned citizen. Everybody should pull up and watch when police is here, right? My question is, are you that concerned of a citizen within your own neighborhood? Obviously. Obviously, I am. Outside of the police. You must be outraged when witnessing a female officer stop a driver, not only searching the car, but also patting down the citizen as if they were a criminal. This behavior is genuinely concerning and unacceptable. I can't help but make a humorous comparison that this female officer seems to be groping her boyfriend more than carrying out her duties as a law enforcement officer. Clearly, this is completely inappropriate. The police have no right to engage in such invasive actions without just cause, as clearly stated in the Fourth Amendment. Y'all good, big dog? Alright. What they pull you over for, big dog? What they pulling you over for? Expired tags. And she need to pat you down for expired tags? At least I think so. I thought expired tag, you could just get a ticket. What's the need to pat down? And you should always record, big dog. And as a passenger, you don't got an ID either. As a passenger, you're not even necessarily a part of the stop. You just happen to be in the car, so you don't got an ID or nothing. Whatever it is she's trying to do. I don't know, especially just for expired tags. Now, like I said, you don't have to ID as a passenger. That's You don't have to. So. Don't consent to no searches or none of that. I am back. Just Like I said, just don't consent to no searches or none of that. Like I said, you a passenger, so you don't got to ID yourself and just don't consent to no searches. Honestly, she's not even supposed to detain you as a passenger. So make sure, make sure when it's over, you get her name and badge number and you file a formal complaint. You supposed to tell her you ain't consenting to no searches. Still say it, still tell her. That's so that, that you did. It don't matter. Let her violate the law. You did your part. You could take her to court. She digging in your pockets. You're not under arrest. But he's not under arrest. You only supposed to do a frisk, a pat down on the outside. Yeah, you only supposed to pat down the outside of his pockets. So that's unlawful. That's a full search. Well, I know how to do it better than you, obviously. See, passenger, that's why you always film. You don't never let them pull you over. Driver as well. Don't never get pulled over without taping. 
She literally said she pulled you over for expired tags, but y'all both in the back seat being detained. That don't even make sense. She know I'm right. <laughs> Get that unit number SH6494. Yeah, but she know I'm right. That's why she don't want y'all to hear me and file formal complaints when y'all done. If all it is was expired tags, y'all wasn't even supposed to be pulled out your car. She could have just cited you and let you keep on going. So make sure y'all do y'all formal complaints. Don't let this shit blow over because she absolutely wrong. And that's, that's why she rolled up the window. She don't want y'all to hear me telling y'all y'all right. So make sure y'all do that shit. Don't let it just blow over. Because that's how they get away with everything. Because people don't follow up on it. Y'all got to follow up on it. Look, y'all supposed to be breaking out with them too. You got to police the police. Because they don't know how to do their job. She didn't detain the passenger, searched them illegally, everything. Off of something she could have talked to him through the car for and just gave him a simple ticket. They didn't even have to be pulled out, searched. Especially the passenger. He just a passenger and he told, him, told her that he don't consent, so. Don't teach me the law. I have authority here. Turn off the camera immediately. You are not allowed to film here. These statements ring out like alarm bells, highlighting the abuse of power by some members of law enforcement. This is a public space, and citizens have the right to record interactions with the police to ensure clarity and transparency under the First Amendment. So what is wrong with exercising this right? It's unfortunate that there is not only a lack of understanding of the law, but also a sense of pride from these officers. And I'm definitely gonna file my complaint on her, regardless if they do or not, so. I don't know what she in there doing. She done washed her hands. Looks like she just wasting time. She probably, probably called back up and waiting on them. To see what she do now. What's your name and badge number? Hey, y'all make sure y'all file y'all formal complaints, man. Because I am regardless if y'all do or don't. Can I get your name and badge number? You gonna fail the ID? Or you gonna give me your name and badge number? Ask her. I was asking you to see her. Is it no? She got the people who car it is in there. Okay. So you're, you're just I'm just a concerned film. citizen. No. Not just to film, just to make sure she's doing her job right. Sure she already overstepped. So that's that's already a violation right there. Right. And it's supposed to well, be just for. Just it's, do me a favor. It's supposed to be. If I was too close, I'll be violating. I, I'm keeping the distance. I've been distant since I got here. If all she stopped him for was just tags, I don't see what she need to pull the passenger out for. He didn't do anything wrong. He's just a passenger in the car. So why would he be searched an ID? What's your name and badge number? Carrillo. Huh? Carrillo. Carrillo. Badge number what? 061. All right. But yeah, if it's just tags. She's taking the car now. But what about detaining the passenger and searching him and all that? He he not the driver? By uh, definition, when, you, when any, there's a traffic stop in the back of the passenger. Nah, this, the, the, passenger the, the passenger don't have nothing to do with the stop. He, he might have to stay because he's not driving. He's not making a violation. Well, he didn't. She obviously just made him do it. He didn't do it. And then she fully searched him. She didn't do a pat down on the outside. She physically went into his pockets. I got it on tape. I heard it. I seen it. I got it on tape. I seen and heard it. Nah. Never too close. That's what Zoom is for. <laughs> the mic sounds Zoom too. Listen, the mic sounds Zoom. Listen, the mic sounds Zoom as well. And they were speaking loud enough to hear him. He's in the car and he gives her that information. No, he was outside the car when that happened. See, if you was here, you would have knew. If he's in the car and he gives her that But that happened outside the car over here. Right now, you're just assuming because you're not sure. You just got here. I'm telling you as a witness to it. I'm telling you as a witness to it. You're just assuming. I was here. I'm a, I'm a primary source. 
you will be more like a secondary, right? Right though, I would be more of a primary, you would be secondary. All right, so if we're talking about that, then I was here, you wasn't. So I would say primary would be him. You'd probably be like secondary. But I'm a, I, I, I'm a primary source because I was there of it happened. I'm contempt I'm contemporary why it's happened. I'm there with it. So I could be primary. I don't know if you know how sources work, but you know, if you did, you would have been more familiar that I'm gonna be a primary source. Because I'm a first hand source. You could not agree, but that's that's how it works. S H one eight nine zero. It's not reading. It's numbers. It's not reading. Letters and numbers, that ain't reading. It don't say anything. <laughs> That's just reciting letters and reciting numbers, man. That ain't reading. I see you, you wanna be a hard ass, huh? I mean, you got a very condescending type of, you know, attitude right now. I don't see why, just cause I'm here recording. Then why you yeah, acting yeah, the way you yeah. acting? I'm recording you just like you're recording me. Like but I'm not giving you attitude. You being very condescending. How's that making fun? Your whole body language, everything you've been doing since you got here. You may call it condescending. I may be calling it like I'm not gonna get sucked into whatever you got going on. I don't got nothing going on. I told you what I'm doing. I'm just watching. Everybody should pull up and watch when police is here, right? Yeah. My question is, are you that concerned of a citizen within your own neighborhood? Obviously. With the community the obviously, I am. It's what I do. I hold government officials accountable. Committee members accountable. That's what your I'm concern about. is to do that. That's your job. That ain't my job. As a citizen, my job is to hold the government accountable. That's your job to police the city. So you're a Republican, what you say? I never said I was either or. Standing up for people's rights. Now, if that's what you call a Republican, hey, that's your opinion. Just, nah, I'm okay. just giving you some side on my side. I'm just giving you a little information. I never said I was either or. I'm just a it's citizen. Just I'm just saying. a citizen that stand up for people's rights. And like I said, if you want to call that a Republican, hey, it. to we each his own. We need, we need more people out there looking out for everybody. Need Everybody. more people like me for sure. I hold people accountable. I file formal complaints. I follow up. I do whatever. I make small claims. I hold them accountable to the full extent of the law. So I'll hold you accountable. Members of the government. Council persons. Like. Yeah, any members of the government. As long as, as, long as you care about it. Okay. That's why I said members of the government and not specifically police. Right now it's just specifically you guys because y'all here but everybody get held accountable. I got I got uh, complaints on city councilmen, clerks, all type of shit, whoever do wrong. I highly doubt it. I work 10 hours a day, six days a week. I, I highly doubt you drive more than me. Okay, that's today though. You might have a day where you only work eight hours. So that 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 can even out. I said it could. I know I'm assuming, I know that. That's why I said it could. I didn't say for a fact it will. Did you, did you feel unsafe with my presence here? Excuse me, ma'am. Did you feel unsafe with my presence here? You little scaredy cop. I don't got no guns and shit, I'm at work. What's she scared of? Come on, man, make that make sense. I'm at work. Would you have to call backup if I was taping you at work? You had to call for backup, I just happened to see her. I seen the radio for it. I mean, you can lie to me, because I know you can, for sure, if that's what you want to do, but I, I seen her radio. I know how to do that. So you just thought she needed backup? I typically check on my partner. Ah, so you just thought she was unsafe. She never said that. I didn't even see you. I'm just checking to make sure she's Because you didn't have nothing to do? There's no other crime in Compton? Oh, there's plenty of crime in Compton. So why are you here? She don't need you. She didn't radio for you. you just here just to be here, huh? Give me a chance for me to find you. You glad you came to, to stand like around and do nothing time. when there's other crimes that can be solved? You glad you're here? Are you on the clock? I am. My job ain't to protect the city, this, though. This my, job. <laughs> my job ain't to protect the city. Yours is. With an officer that didn't request any protecting backup. That guy, protecting you. With a with a with an officer that didn't did it. With an officer that didn't request any backup. <laughs> you keep trying to shuffle out of my camera and get on that side, so the sun to be on that side. I need you. You gonna be in the sun if you're on that side or not? You just won't be able to be seen in my camera good if you're on that side. So that's why I keep shifting all, around. That's your, that's your right. To I know. Like. I know. That's why I do it. Public view or you're good to go. Hey, that's why I do it. This is private property though. Public view. 
No, but we on private though. You know, I, was, I just was making a distinction. So, cause a lot of officers don't know the difference. Yeah, but a lot of a lot of officers don't understand the difference between the two. I've had officers try to trespass people from public property without them committing crimes and all type of shit. Cause they think, oh, well, they said they don't want you here, so you gotta go. Private property trespassing is completely different from public property, and a lot of officers don't understand it too. Just like a lot of officers don't understand what an actual lawful order is. Right now, I'm telling you from experience. You're, I'm you're, telling you from experience. I have video evidence that, of it. I'm not just making this up. I'm not. I'm not making it up. I'm just telling you from experience. This is from experience. I've had officers arrest me. How do you trespass in city hall without breaking the law? Exactly my point, but it's happened. So it's not me assuming or just saying any old random comment. I'm telling you from personal experience, this shit happens a lot. Officers don't even know what a lawful order is a lot of the times. No, it has to actually have a law backing what you're saying for it to be a lawful order. So I, I've just had it all. I've seen a lot of it, man. So a lot of times the six weeks of training just don't suffice. It don't. But y'all do that to have qualified immunity. I understand. Y'all tell people when y'all pull them over that ignorance of the law is no excuse, but then y'all get qualified immunity in court for not knowing the same laws. The judge will give you a slap on the wrist. And then it's, 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 it's justified then, right? Y'all get qualified immunity for not knowing the law, but then y'all turn around and tell the citizens, oh, that's no reason just because you didn't know it. That don't mean it's not illegal. Understand the system when it comes to that. Can you explain that? I don't think so. Oh uh, man, why you didn't shake my hand? It's biasness. He don't like me, y'all. He didn't shake my hand. Hey, passenger. Passenger. You should also request a supervisor. Cause what she did was wrong. Y'all should request a supervisor. Request the supervisor. They gotta call them out. No, you don't want to wait till later. What's that? I'm at work. Once I leave here, I gotta go. I, I wasn't even I wasn't even supposed to be here. Can I get your name and badge number now? No, I'm not. You, you. That's your policy to ID. But that's I'm not asking him. I'm asking you. What's your name and badge number? If you encounter similar situations, remain calm and try to resolve the issue as amicably as possible. Staying calm will give you a clearer perspective in tense situations. Always respect the law because justice and righteousness will ultimately stand with those who obey the law. Always maintain a good image in front of others instead of being called rogue cops by the public, as seen in this situation. My, my life and my children in the car. This rogue cop here trying to make his own rules up. You're pulling me over for no reason. It's a violation of my constitutional rights. Today, I feel very disappointed with the police in Fort Smith, Arkansas. It seems that stopping cars for checks has become a common practice, and everywhere stopping a vehicle for a reasonable cause is completely lawful. But in this case, it's different. Not just one officer, but many arrived here with the intention of intimidating this citizen, forcing them to exit the vehicle for inspection. They clearly provided no specific reason, especially considering there were children inside the car. This not only shows a lack of respect for civil rights, but also seriously violates the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution. Fort Smith, again, I've done nothing. We pulled over to check the uh, the fuel outs going. Hello. Hey. Can you see you pull over? Uh, that's none of your business. Is that illegal? It's illegal to be around buildings? I can't see we drive around closed buildings. Is it illegal to be around buildings? Are you loitering? What are you doing, Baron? Here. I don't I'm answer questions, man. Now, are you arrested? Is there a reason you pulled me over? Yeah, you're being suspicious. That's why. It's neither. So if you don't have a reason to pull me over, sir, man, I am I on my way? Over. Am I being detained? Yeah. For what law? Why are you driving around those buildings like For that? For what law am I being detained? I need your supervisor. Here. Guys, call 911 if he gets erratic. I need your supervisor down here now. That's fine. Like Fort Smith's finest. Just think they can make up their own rule house. Kill my car. This guy ain't gonna waste my gas. Here he is. No reason to pull me over. Cassidy 4428. Cassidy 4. Are you a rookie, Cassidy? Nope. Okay. Cassidy 4428. You're gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna get. You're gonna lot out trouble for yourself, buddy. That's fine. You're entering my day. Supervisor. 
is outrageous, man. These guys think they, 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 they think they, they think they can do anything they want. They cannot do this. I'm doing nothing illegal. And he knows it. It's my constitutional right to not have this happen to me. And I'm going to pursue charges against this man. Third time this week. Idiots. What was the law? What, what are you pulling me over again for, sir? For suspicion? Keep driving on closed businesses. Does him, is that illegal? They're all closed. No. Is that illegal? He has no answer because it is not illegal. It's, it's a violation of my constitutional rights right. right here. You're witnessing it, guys. Go live on you. Or go give me your phone, too. Right now he's walking away from me. I'm sick of this. I am sick of this. Now here we are, stuck here, while he's shining his light in my... I'm worried about it because I'm worried why you got us pulled over. I'm afraid. I'm in fear. Uh, of course you are. This rogue cop here trying to make his own rules up. No reason. This is unjustified. You're pulling me over for no reason. It's a violation of my constitutional rights. Uh, you, you, can't, I got, you can't tell me to be quiet. You be quiet. Go sit in your car. You can't bark commands at me. I'm not a dog. This dude's an idiot. Yeah, I want the supervisor as quickly as possible. This guy doesn't need a job. He there's no reason to have me pulled over right here. He's just a nosy punk. He got no reason to pull me over. He's back there shining his light, trying to get into my personal information for no reason. Violation of my constitutional rights. You guys are witnessing it right now. Fort Smith, Arkansas. And it's going to continue being corrupt until we can get these people out of here. They need to start a hiring process of hiring good Americans who uphold citizens' constitutional rights. Not violate them like this guy. And here we are sitting here just wasting our day, food getting cold, because this cop thinks I shouldn't be pulling in or driving around, whatever he said, uh, closed businesses. Uh, is this place lit up? Look at this. Look how lit up this place is. I checked the pressure of my fuel, and we're on our way. And he sh throws his lights on. He goes code one. Just, it, it, I'm not going to tell him shit. I want the supervisor, and I'm going to call 911 if the supervisor starts acting crazy. I'll call you. I'll, I'm going to call you. Whatever I got to do. This is unconstitutional. And uh, I'm here with my children. If your supervisor is Stephen Creek, I want a different one. I'm sorry, but we're not going to be, we're not going to be bullied by these idiots. We have the rights, not these guys. They think they can do whatever they want. Pull me over for suspicion. There is no law against suspicion. I think you shouldn't take your eyes off the screen. Witness a large contingent of police being dispatched as if this were a very serious case. But their only reason for being there is to check the fuel in the car. Ask yourself, is it really necessary to mobilize such a large police force and resort to threats and arrests? Clearly, the police are abusing their power to apply pressure, making the driver feel scared and compelled to comply with their demands. There is no law against suspicion. Put your windows down. I want to hear what he's saying. Let's hear what he's saying. He's wasting my day. I can't believe I gotta do this once a week here. And they wonder why there's no tourism and no money in this city. The only money is coming from the revenue of these police. Outrageous. Gosh damn idiot. You see them in my rear view, talking to each other. Plotting out what they can get me for. Make up whatever they can. Outrageous. This is Fort Smith, Arkansas. And this is outrageous. Hopefully I have a third cop coming now. Maybe not. Gosh damn idiots. Barking commands at me, telling me to shut up. You, know, you serve and protect. You're violating my constitutional rights and barking commands at me like I'm an animal. I'm a human being, but at least I'm not a penis, and that's what he is. Sorry my kids in the car have to use that language. Otherwise, it would be vile language. They're calling my tag. No reason to do that. Sorry, kids. 
I'm not going to be shaken. I'm not going to be interrogated. I'm not going to be bullied. Eight minutes now. I need you to duck down, kid. I'm gonna show up. That's that moment. Let's kill that time. I'm assuming the, this other guy that showed up is not one either. Because they haven't come to speak with me. They're talking amongst each other. There's some cars pulling in. Hopefully one is the supervisor. Nope. Doesn't appear to be. Oh, that, that may be a cop. It's an unmarked unit, but yeah, maybe. I do believe that might be the supervisor. Cool. Pulled in to check. Here comes a fourth officer. Look at this. I pulled in to check my fuel after changing my fuel filter and having the pressure fail. Here we are. One, two, three, four <coughs> vehicles, patrol vehicles. Oh, two or three in each, two, one or two in each car. Trying to find, they're over there talking about anything they can to try and get me, because now they're mad. <coughs> Mallory, whatever happens, you immediately upload this to my YouTube. A fifth cop. Five. Look at this. Five police, I've done nothing. I got the whole freaking patrol squad down here. One, two. Three, four, five. How bored are they to have this much time? How's it going? Not very well. Why is that? Are you the supervisor? Yes, sir. My name is Lieutenant Young. All right, Lieutenant, what? Uh, please not with a flashlight. My, my child's in here. Uh, I'm going to have a flashlight on so I can see inside the vehicle. Okay, who's your boss, man? The, the chief of police. Who, Danny Baker? Yeah. All right, I want to talk with Danny Baker. Is he available? No. Why am I being harassed? I, How come I get pulled over twice a week for nothing? For is, is he said, what's he say he pulled me over for suspicion? You, no, no, what is the... If what? you want me to explain to I explain to you. But you, if you want to interrupt me, I'm not going to beat around the Go bridge. ahead, what is it? If we observe people around a bunch of different closed businesses... Okay. I mean, and right now there's a lot of closed businesses. You've pulled me over now. What statute in Arkansas says that you have the right to pull someone over you see them around businesses? How am I loitering? I pulled in, I pulled out. I checked my fuel and I moved. I pulled in, stopped at the other one and revved it up and it was doing good and I kept going. All right, what about over at at &T? Look in the back seat, I got Applebee's in the car. I went and picked up my food, man. Right. What about over there behind Hastings? None of your business, bro. I picked up my food, I checked my fuel pump and I come home. If, if you own one of these closed businesses, wouldn't you want us to check in? No, you? I think what you're doing is violating my constitutional rights, man. I've done nothing wrong. Here I am surrounded by five cops with guns. They're, they're, look at them, There's whispering, nobody. talking with each other. My kid's in the car. There's no. And I want to go home. Okay. Now. Can you identify yourself? I'm not going to identify. I've done nothing wrong. Okay. Okay. I'd like to be on my way. Where is home? Sir, I'd like to be on my way home so I can eat my food with my children on my birthday. Okay. I'm just verifying what you told me. That's all I'm doing. I'm not telling you anything else. I don't answer questions without a lawyer present. Okay. Now, if you want to get my lawyer, Coy Rush, get him down here. I'm so I can't do that. I want to go home. Right. I've done nothing wrong. You guys done bullying me and, and harassing and interrogating me? The only person that's upset. I'm sick of it. Right. Twice a week this happens. Well, you're free to go. All right, guys, I'm these guys are just out of control. I'm going to go in here and look, look at this. Look how many cars there are, man. They have got nothing else to do but harass citizens. There you go. This is not just an abuse of power, but also a disrespect for citizens' rights. The confrontation has finally concluded, but the questions about the rights and responsibilities of citizens remain. The citizen demonstrated determination in protecting their right to film, while the police were reminded of the limits of their power. Will confrontations like this help raise awareness of free speech rights, or will they only deepen the divide between the government and the public?